Hi, Dyslexic Genius, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. And if you like me, tell me on, on YouTube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild this diamond, finishing up this diamond reproducer. Before I put the first gasket in, what you want to do is you want to stretch this out a little bit so it fits tight to the side. You want to put, I lucky enough, I had an original one in stock, the diaphragm, so I'm not putting that piece of junk paper in there. You want to set this in. So nothing touches. You're going to lay in the gasket. Now there's a metal ring. And is it if this is to the front, the hole is on the left. Push that in. Now you insert the ring. Right before it gets tight, you want to test it. All right? That sounds good. We're going to use a tool we made. We're going to hold the, the diaphragm in place, and we're going to tighten this thing up. Just snug. You hear that? That's perfect. You're gonna drop the you're gonna drop the T down like this. You're gonna insert it through the hole of the weight, stick the pin in, just like that. Going to put the end piece in. You want to start these with your fingers. You want to put a little dab of oil on those. Screw these down. When I took it apart, one was loose. I'm going to flip the stylus to the outside so it's sticking out. I use a hobby drill holder. You're going to stick it. This is the hardest part. You're going to stick that in here. Once you got it in, just push it through.
and there's a little burr on the inside. You gotta play with this to get that pin in. And after we're done, drop a little bit of shellac on each side to hold it, but this is real tight. And that's my tip for the day.